I'm gonna paint this cow now. Moved in inside, it's too hot in the shop. Anyway, this is a caricature cow. It's not a realistic one, but uh, it's a Harold in a little rough out. And I was up in a carving shop and they had one of these rough outs. And I said, hey, I've never done that, so I'll do it. And I did have trouble breaking the horns off, so I coated them with a good coat of super glue. So that's why they're kind of discolored from the rest of it. I will show you some stuff like, uh, which I think is pretty neat, this grain right here, this line that, that goes through there. It's just kind of a weird deal. Then I've got this little spot that goes all the way and comes out the udder. You can see it up there. goes down like that. Sometimes you just... Uh, well, all the times you just have what you have on this wood. Have to work around it or decide if you can deal with it or not. But I've dealt with it best I can and now I'm going to paint it. Not sure. I'm going to paint it like a Jersey cow, but I don't know exactly how to get those colors. I know the hooves are going to be black and the horns are going to be black. The bell is going to be golden and the strap Holding the bell will be brown leather, or black, I'll probably do it black. And the rest of it, we'll just find, find work as we go, we'll find out as we go. I know the lighting in here is not the best, but uh, it's kind of like work out. I saw that back there and I thought that was a piece of wood hanging off. But it's kind of like, uh, that's what we got, so we just deal with it. And. Uh, I'm going to thin this out. I always start thin. Usually start thin and get thinner. But these broad areas like the hooves, I'll just not worried about getting them real dark. But I do need some color. I generally hold, hold these in my hand and paint them, but I'll do as much as I can. And I'm working on a video of that uh, old world Santa carving it. Man, I was constantly in front of the camera. And I don't want to do that here, but at some point I'm going to have to pick it up because I just can't paint the whole thing like this. But uh, that's really about what I was looking for about that then. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can still see the wood grain in that. And I like that. Move this over here. I'll work on thinning that back hoof out. And I do this like uh, carving as far as the tools. I use the biggest brush I can get to start with. And I only change when I have to. And sometimes I wait too long to do that. And if that ends up too bad, I have to go get my trusty knife and recarve it. So I'm going to go around here and paint the hooves. Then I'll be back. Okay, let's see how this goes. I can keep it within the camera range there. Get a little closer and get a little more detail. Or you can see a little more detail. I like to, I guess, while I'm doing this, I'm, I'm thinking, I guess I like to carve from the edges to the middle because I'll do the, the bottom and go up to the top and then the top down to the bottom. That works for me. It's kind of like using a V tool. You, I kind of lay it down and get it right up to the edge. I 
Okay, so here's the experiment so far. Got uh, black on the nose. I'll probably darken that up. Got the horns. Got the little bell leather deal. And the uh, bell is gold. And got the feet or the hoods painted black. So now I'm going to go over the whole body with try to get a color brownish red. And we'll just see. I'm going to lightly cover that and then put in some more colors. Uh, this is going to be real thin right at first. A lot more thin than that. And then I can do this part real good. Just slop it on. Nope, do do do. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Like I said, this will be a super light coat. Just want to get all of it covered. And I'll probably just do the whole thing in this. Uh, obviously not the whole thing, but the, the whole thing that's not covered by black right now. I'll do the eyes and all. I'm not going to worry about that. And since this is so thin, I'm not worried about, except for that. Ooh, that's bad. Too much white. But that's the good thing about working with these things so thinned out. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing, but it's just, just putting it on everywhere. Again, it's real, real thin. I watched some tutorials on just painting cows last night, and it really helped because I'm not big on mixing colors and shadowing and all that but it kind of learn I think that can really really help me if I get into doing that it does make for a good looking better looking carbon than just here's one color all right again I'm going to uh, just turn this upside down and all around and I know I won't be able to keep the camera on it so I'm going to Turn the camera off, but I'm going to keep going just what I'm doing with this big brush, just getting it everywhere. You know, they got that little reel going around on Instagram that says, I shall record every step, and then poof. Well, I thought I'd record every step, but I did now. What I haven't done, I haven't finished the eyes yet. I'm waiting on that to dry, but the rest of it's pretty much done. Uh, kind of model colors, nothing real... Uh, distinct so I'm gonna leave that may go over some black touch up the mouth just a little bit but that's pretty much it